show, and it's going to be an environmental theme. And I want that to be something good for us, but I don't want it to be something that constricts us in our ideas. Last year, the theme was Library 2.0, and I think we had a very successful conference. And Curtis encouraged everybody to incorporate that into their programming. In this case, I don't think that it's going to fit with everybody's focus. Um, but I hope that we can think about it very broadly. That's what I want to do now, is just kind of get the conversation started. And if you think it's going to work for you, use it. But I don't want you to feel like, oh, the idea that we have doesn't have anything to do with the environment, so it's not going to work this year. Please don't think that. I, I want this to, to help us, not to hinder us. This quote is from Helene Flowers, who came and spoke at our conference last year. She was from Charlotte Mecklenburg at that point. She's moved on. But um, I thought this was great. And she says, the libraries have always been green. And um, collections and borrowing practices not only emphasize reuse, they were literally built upon the principle of shared access for all. And then some people responded in her blog and said, if you think about um, books that libraries have collected and, and circulated over and over again, think of the number of trees that have been saved um, just because of libraries. And this whole idea of uh, sharing resources together, reusing, if you think of reduce, reuse, recycle, um, you know, that's where we are already. So we don't have to prove that this is a timely issue. And then, of course, we hear a lot about LEED. And this is linked with sustainable building. Um, leadership in environmental, no, energy and environmental design. That's what LEED means. And if you've been involved in these conversations at all, you know about LEED. It's a certification um, from the U.S. Green Building Council. And you can get um, platinum, gold, silver, uh, or just certification, depending on what you do. Um, LEED's been around for a while, and it's um, usually if people are going to do green architecture, they try to go for LEED certification. But I started seeing a lot of articles about people who said, we're not going the LEED way because it does, it, it can put some constraints on you, and sometimes people add things just to get lead points, but they're not necessarily what their organization <coughs> wanted. Um, some people say, let's go beyond the lead, let's do even better than what they request, but um, we, have several, we have many uh, buildings in South Carolina that are lead certified, and if you go to the um, Green Building Council, you can see uh, there's a South Carolina chapter, and they have lists and pictures of buildings um, in our state that have lead certification. So I thought that might be a good conversation to have. Now, there's people who are not going to have building projects coming up or remodels coming up. Does that mean that their library can't do some things to be more environmental? No, of course not. I just put a few articles up there um, that talk about different things that you can do in your library. You can get uh, change your office supplies to recycled paper. You can do an energy audit and change your light bulbs to compact fluorescent. You can, you know, it, just like your home. I mean, there's lots and lots of things that you can do to be more um, environmentally friendly. And so I thought maybe somebody would be able to do a, a session on that, bring somebody in who can give people ideas, bring somebody from a library in who's done that kind of thing. What about our collections? Um, there's, there's a lot of things you can do to make sure that your collections are um, filled with the best environmental things. The first, the four articles that I put up there um, give you lists of things that you might want to have, whether you're an academic library or a public library. So collection development, either, you know, at, at a children's uh, track, level, um, or maybe at an academic level, or just, uh, it might be nice to have a session on how to create a website for your library, or a web page within your library site that deals with environmental things. Now, there's many out there. I have a, a work with a science librarian who is creating a web page for, we have an environmental studies 
um, concentration at Furman, and um, she's been doing a lot of instruction for them. And so she's creating a page of resources for them, and what she's finding is that she has just got to pull from everywhere. She's got to bring in the science, she's got to bring in the sociology, she's got to bring in po political science kind of stuff, because environmental issues are so multidisciplinary. So I'm trying to get her to come and do a session on um, resources that she's found for environmental studies. Yeah. Yeah.